Hello everyone, it's Natalie from NellyDesign.com. Today I'm going to answer a question that is asked very often, but it's, it is so simple to do, is how to upload more fonts into Design Space. So first of all, when you write text in Design Space, you have the opportunity here to have all system or Cricut fonts. Cricut fonts are the fonts that comes with Cricut. And if you are not a, a Cricut Access member, you will have to pay for them, most of them. But if you go here and filter to my fonts, you'll have all the fonts that are free to use if you're not a Cricut Access member. So that's a way to uh, filter the fonts. But if you want to know how to add more fonts, these will appear right here in system fonts. System fonts are the fonts that are on your computer that you will also find in Word, Excel, and all the other software that are installed in, on your computer. Also, one thing I want to note is that if you want to know how to add this, these little glyphs that you see, these little swirls that you see in the, the beginning and the end of text, well, check out the next video that I will have for you link right here at the top so that you can know how to use this. For now, let's go and try to find some new fonts for you to install. So there are plenty of sites where you can get free fonts. I know a lot of people go to dafonts.com. So this site is free fonts that you can download, but they are for your personal use only. Meaning that I personally, I don't use them because you know i make svg files for you i don't sell my svg files but are they are still not for my personal use i am giving them away so i need a commercial license for that so what i like to do is go to fontbundles.net and don't worry about it if you scroll down this video you will have all the links that i'm talking about so font bundles, I really love them because every font comes with the commercial license. And if you want to know more about this, I will link to the commercial license webpage where it explains everything. Font bundles, if you buy a font from them or even for their free fonts, they all come with commercial license. So there's no wondering if you're okay or not. So I really liked the site. And... You see, you can scroll down. There are a lot of things. They have a similar site for SVG that is called Design Bundles. So they are both the same site. You can use the same login name. And if I go here into free fonts, these are all the fonts that are free right now. And they are pretty good ones. They are high quality fonts and you'll even have a PDF with links on it that will tell you how to upload them, how to install them. And if you have any questions, they have support. So that's why I really love this site. And this first font, that's usually the first one in the free font section, is the free font of the week. So it's a font that is available for a limited time. So if I click on it, you will see that it says free font of the week. It's only available for one week, so now there's two days left of, on this one. If I go back to free fonts, you have all of these. And if I click on one, let's say Mariska, it's a pretty cute font for uh, crafters, I think. And you see, that's what I was talking about. It says this free font comes with your premium license, which allows commercial and personal use. You can find a license here. So this is the link I will be giving you in the bottom of the video. Now, how to download a font. I will be downloading one of them. Um, let's say I'll take this one since it's only available for two days left. The way to download them, it's always the same thing for everyone. So you're gonna click here on download free now. And once you download it, it goes right here because I'm using Google Chrome. That's one thing I really like about Google Chrome. It always goes down there so you know where your font is. And if you don't have that, you really need to figure out to find out where your computer saves the files by default. And this is where you're going to find them. For myself, I just click on the arrow right here and I go to show in folder. Now my folder opens and you see my folder that I downloaded is already highlighted and you're going to see that there's a little zipper on it. That means it's a compressed file. It's a zip file. Essentially, these are files that are compressed, so they take less space. If you want to decompress them, so the only thing you need to do is right click on them 
and go and extract all. Now what you can do is browse and save the file where you will find it for later. I mean, you want to keep these files that you download. Maybe you get a new computer and you want to install back those fonts that you previously downloaded. So you better save it and keep it somewhere you're going to remember it. So for the purpose of showing you, I won't be browsing, but I'll just extract right here. So you see what happens. I still have my zip file. But I have a new file that it's called the same thing, but that has no little zipper on it. So this is the file we want to keep. This one, we can just delete it. Delete. This file, we're keeping it, and I'm going to open it to show you what's inside. Now it always does that. You just click again, and then you have all these files that come with this download. You'll see that you have a frequently asked questions file, and what is your premium license file, and the file, the actual font file are the one, these one, these two ones. So there's an open type file and there's a true type font file. We only need one of them. I have trouble remembering which one is which and which one I should keep, but the only trick that I find, and please don't laugh, is that it's in an alphabetical order. So the first one in alphabetical order is the one I want to keep. So O comes before T, so I'm keeping the O file. The, T, the true type font is for old system, so you don't really need this. You just only need the open type font. So to install a font, it's very easy. You need to right click again. So the thing to remember here is right click. So you right click and you go install for all users. So it says it's installing. This is going to install the font everywhere on your computer, meaning if you open Word, the font will be there. If you open Excel or any other application, the font will be there. So it does the same thing and it does install it for uh, inside Cricut Design Space. But you really need to close Cricut Design Space first and then open it back if it was open before. So once you have closed, and we open Cricut Design Space, you can come here into text and go into the search uh, fonts right here. And don't be in Cricut because you won't find them. You'll need to be in all or in system. And we're gonna search for velvet pants and it's right here. So we have it installed and we can type everything you want. Velvet pants. And if you want to know how to add some glyphs to some fonts, those little swirls you see a lot, uh, check out the next video and I will show you how to do this. Thanks for being there. See you soon. Bye-bye.